Hi, I'm Natalie McNeil, and you are watching She Takes on the World TV, your weekly dose of soaring inspiration and practical advice to turn your small business into something big. Today's episode is all about when perseverance should end, and when to say with love that it is time to stop doing something. This is a critical lesson for entrepreneurs all over the world, and really at any level of experience. I think as entrepreneurs, we see obstacles or challenges as things that we can always blast through. Look, I believe you can bust through any obstacle in your way, but it's not always the smartest idea to force something to happen. It can cause major burnout and suck your valuable time and energy away from projects that light you up and projects that allow you to be of greatest service to the world. So when is the right moment to wave your white flag and surrender? When is a good time to step away and close the door and say, it's time to start something new? Make no mistake, Knowing when to say I surrender is just as courageous and wise as saying I will make this happen. Both are just a matter of context and self-trust. For today, I want to explore when the right time may be to stop digging your heels in and trying to force something to happen that just might not be happening the way you want it to be. The first sign that you have to stop dragging yourself forward is that you are totally exhausted and depleted. When you're tired, your output really decreases to the point where it is difficult to produce anything at all. According to a study by the Institute for the Study of Labor and Stanford University, output at 70 hours a week differs little from output at 56 hours a week. And this is time that you're never gonna get back. If you try to make that work week after week, you're totally heading for burnout, unhappiness, and it could even produce physical side effects. To combat this in my own business, I tend to work in 12-week cycles with a break after each three-month stint to recharge my batteries and to just check in with myself and the people I love and the progress that I'm making in my business. The second sign you need to stop digging in your heels is that you keep telling yourself, I have to do this. The important thing to remember is, no, you don't have to do anything. Now, I'm not telling you to up and quit offering the best seller in your business because you've had a bad day, but it's absolutely critical to remember that if you've been feeling resistance for a really long time and wishing that you were pouring your energy somewhere else, you always have a choice. You can close down that obligation forever, or you can tweak your business model so you're putting less effort into this area that just doesn't feel in alignment with you anymore. You're an entrepreneur, and that means that you call the shots. So if something's burning you out, have the courage to honor yourself and make that change. Personally, my favorite way to conquer that have to stress is to journal. I keep a record of almost every day's work to keep tabs on what I'm really loving and also what I'm hating doing day to day so I can decide what needs to go and I can start to look at outsourcing that thing that I feel is totally draining me of my energy. And the third sign that you should probably stop trying to make it happen is that you've stopped believing in what you're selling altogether. I know we all want to make good on our promise to journey that we won't stop believing, but it's easier said than done. If you find yourself hitting this wall and it's more common than you'd think, I find that the best course of action for myself and my clients and my students is to reacquaint yourself with your why. Get back in touch with your reasons for starting a business in the first place. What did you set out to change? What experience were you trying to provide? And from there, you can take a good long look at what's working and what might need to shift to get you realigned with your why. And the fourth and final sign is that you feel totally flat out stuck. Feeling like you're spinning your wheels can be another symptom of burnout and also tie in with the symptoms that we discussed above. It happens, it's normal. I've gone through it myself, but time and time again, 
I've discovered that nature is the great healer in all of these situations. So what's the action step you should take when you catch yourself in a why can't I move forward thought loop? You just have to stop. Step away from your computer screen, go outside, take in a sunset, breathe in some fresh air, head to a beach or a lake if you're near one, or just sit on your back porch, watch the stars come out, go for a favorite meal with a friend or your partner, and watch a great movie. Whatever it is that you love to do, just turn your phone off, or at least put it on silent if you don't even know how to turn it off anymore. Uh, close your laptop and just go out and do it. Relax, recharge, you've totally earned it. I wanna thank you so much for watching this episode and I do hope that you'll share this message because I think a lot of entrepreneurs and even non-entrepreneur types too need to hear this from time to time. I will see you next time on She Takes on the World TV. I hope you loved the episode of She Takes on the World TV you just watched as much as I love making it for you. I've got so much more inspiration and practical advice, plus fun worksheets to do in my upcoming book, The Conquer Kit, a creative business planner for women entrepreneurs. Pre-order the book and get amazing free bonuses at theconquerkit.com.